Hi guys, it's Jay again from Mayava's Wind. I am back to do your reading for May 2021. It has been a minute, it has been a while, um, and I apologize for the long hiatus. However, there have been a ton of people who have been requesting my help and assistance. Um, and so I have definitely been very busy um, helping um, people in the tarot community um, be able to move forward um, and to overcome um, obstacles and challenges that they've been dealing with, okay? So I really appreciate you um, sticking with me and having patience. Um, but I hope all of you um, who are mothers um, and who walk with the mothering energy had a fabulous Mother's Day. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's get started. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I'm a priestess in the Afro-Cuban tradition, um, and so I'll be interpreting the cards from an Afro-Cuban spiritualist perspective at times. I'll be incorporating cards that I've created in the beginning, and then we'll go into classic tarot towards the end. Um, I would really appreciate if you like what I'm doing, please like the video, definitely share, and certainly subscribe. You are so completely welcome into Ayaba's Wind um, community. Uh, and if you would like a private reading, you can email me at ayabaswind, W-Y-N-D, 999 at gmail.com. Okay, guys, so let's get started. Let's see what's going on for your love story for May 2021. I'm starting off with Leo. I'm a fellow Leo, yes. Um, and so let's see what's, what's going on. Guys, if you don't wanna see the shuffling, you can skip to minute four. I honestly hate shuffling <laughs> as much as I shuffle at the sound of the card shuffling totally and completely annoys me um, so I get it so you can jump to minute four um, to begin to hear the commentary okay okay so these are cards that I've created based on love songs for the last 40 or 50 years It's just easier for me to interpret your situation through music, through songs. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Okay, we have our first time checkpoint. So the time checkpoint is a, you know, a very um, important time or something significant is gonna happen within that time frame. So it's definitely for you to mark in your calendar and to keep your eyes open for it. Okay, we have the equivalent of the page of wands. So for those of you guys, we have a description of someone in the love story. So for those of you guys who watch um, tarot and you know what the page of wands means, Okay, there is that energy that's just popped up here. Let's see if Spirit wants to give any more information through these cards. I've dedicated light to your spirit guides, your ancestors, and so they are the ones that are informing this reading. I am simply delivering the messages. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's get started. Um, okay, so we have several um, checkpoints here, time checkpoints, uh, and let's see what the overall message is for the reading, all right? So springtime, spring, we are still, uh, we're towards the ta uh, tail end of spring. Spring months are March, April, May. So something very significant happened this spring, okay? 
or is about to happen in, in the end part of spring. All right, spring is gonna be very significant, maybe the start of a new relationship, the ending of an old cycle. Okay, spring is very significant here. But God, force, and spirit, guys, protect your mind, body, spirit from harm and danger, okay? So just know that you are being protected. It's not to say that you don't have to do any work. It's not to say you don't have to do prayers or baths, baños, or meditations or things like that, but spirit wants you to know that they are watching over you you know that your prayers are being answered they're being listened to um and so you know some of the things that you pray for may be good for you some of the things that you think well the things that you're praying for you think may be good for you may not be good for you but spirit is saying that they are there with you and they're watching over you okay spirit is saying a baby is on the way so someone is going to be getting pregnant if you are not already pregnant you're going to be getting pregnant okay uh, pregnancy is soon coming my head is tingling right now okay um, Leo's are in that Empress energy and if you are a male Leo here um, you know you're highly a uh, viral <laughs> okay fertility is at its all-time peak all right um, and there is a baby that wants to come through there is an, um, a child energy that wants to come through okay and someone is yearning for your love PJ Martin uh, Morton okay and so they are really thinking about you they're focusing on you just keep in mind that these energies are about people in your love story okay you are the main attraction in your love story then there's your special person aka your twin flame your soulmate your divine masculine divine feminine whatever you want to call it okay um, and then you have your karmics these are people on the side that you are dating and sometimes even marry and have kids with thinking that they're your special person and they're really not okay you're just with that person to learn a lesson or two or three and then you uh leave them and you eventually go into harmonious union with your special person sometimes it doesn't happen that way okay your special person also has lessons to learn if your special person has a big ego like in the words of beyonce okay if they have a big ego that ego can prevent them from going into union with their special person because they have not, you know, um, um, taken responsibility for their actions, okay, or lack thereof in particular relationships or whatever. And so they haven't learned their lessons, okay? And so you can try and go into union with your special person, but it won't be harmonious. Okay, it'll always be a stop and start. They'll be fighting on and off, breaking up, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, the other thing that can um, impede um, you guys going into union with each other um, is witchcraft. It's it's brujeria. Okay, and you know, I know a lot of people don't like <laughs> like to acknowledge it, but it is very real. Okay, and you can dismiss it all you want. All right, but when shit starts going left. Uh, and it doesn't make sense and things are just falling out the sky and I, I don't mean literally but you know um, all shit is hitting the fan then that means that there's something is going on spiritually okay there's spiritual warfare that's been launched against you okay um, so but I am trustworthy all right so this person who is yearning for your love you know spirit is saying that they are trustworthy they are someone who you know you could have a viable uh, you know relationship with but the ego is holding me back from happiness and wish fulfillment okay so this could be you think this could be you or your special person but you know there could be some delays in you moving forward with a union because someone's ego you know it could be um you know social pressures um you know the pressure to be uh, a player okay um you know that kind of thing homeboys like trying to like press them you know the the whole fact that we are now in spring and we're going into summer you know that hot girl summer that hot boy summer that whole thing people don't want to be you know um in relationships not everyone but that's the general theme okay so that may be holding things up but someone who is financially stable is coming so the person that does come into the picture and you finally land this person, this fine this person finally kind of locks into a relationship with you will be financially stable. 
I'm not saying this person's going to be a billionaire, okay? This person may not even make six figures, but they're going to have, um, you know, good credit um, and stability and security within themselves, all right? Um, wedding bells are going to be ringing. So if you have not gotten a proposal, um, if you are not in the engagement phase of this relationship, you know, just know that this relationship is going to be progress progressing to a deeper level, a more meaningful level, um, uh, and a deeper, more powerful, emotionally um, connected level, okay? But sickness, time, time to see a doctor, okay? So what does this mean? Spirit is saying that there is something that is that could be going on with you, that there could be uh, an imbalance, okay? Now, what does this mean? This, this, don't start panicking. You know, it could be as, as slight as a uh, vitamin deficiency, okay? Um, you know, who knows? You can... I don't know, have dark circles under your eyes, okay? And that maybe you could be anemic or, you know, whatever these things are, it could be as minor as that, okay? Um, and so what Spirit is saying, it's time to go to get, go get a checkup. It's time to go have your blood panel done, you know, have an HIV test, SCD check, OBGYN exam, breast exam, <laughs> um, um, pap smear, um, you know, all the exams, that you can possibly get, get, because spirit is trying to protect you from something that could turn into something bigger, okay? Now, several weeks. So what does this mean? Several weeks, so we are like what? In the middle of May, several weeks puts us into the middle of June or late June, okay? So something is gonna happen between now and late June, okay? It could be that there could be a major sickness that comes about and spirit is just warning you, that's a possibility. Or in several weeks, there could be a significant growth and expansion that whole Jupiter energy as far as love blooming and blossoming. Okay, um, and there we go. A passionate text or message comes in. This is what I was talking about, the page of wands. So, you know, there is definitely going to be some communication coming in about someone wanting to connect with you, wanting to spend time with you, more than likely wanting to be intimate with you. Okay, they want that old thing back. <laughs> All right, and um, they're, they're definitely um, feeling you. Okay. Um, Someone with long, light hair is figuring prominently in this story. So long, light hair can be like a, um, a light brown, a red, a light red, um, blondish hair, um, okay? But someone who has lighter hair um, past the shoulders is going to be figuring prominently in this love story, okay? Um, now, if you don't, if this doesn't fit your description, if that's not you, if that's not your lover, your special person, this could be a karmic, okay? Or someone who's somehow intimately involved in your love story, okay? Going into prayer and meditation to claim your blessings is critical right now, okay? If you want that love, if you want that passion, you want that, um, you want stability and security in your life, you're going to have to begin to raise your vibration even higher and go into prayer and meditation, okay? And so um, as it relates to love, I definitely suggest you do those pop-up love mantras in my playlist, okay? You guys got to go to um, my channel, click on playlist, and look for pop-up love mantras, okay? Or mantras for love, all right? The main one is a hum prima, okay? You can, um, you know, if you've been watching my channel, I've been encouraging you guys to get mala, mala beads, okay? These mala beads have 108 beads on them, okay? This is how many times you need to chant those particular mantras, okay? Chanting 108 beads is approximately eight to 10 minutes on a short mantra, okay? Mantras are like medicine for the spirit. They're medicine for the soul. They help to align your chakras um, and they help to cultivate energies of prosperity, of love, of um, happiness and success, okay? Um, and so, you know, with that uh, mantra for love, that aham prima, you're gonna start at the bottom bead and go straight through it. Aham prima, aham prima, aham prima. 
Aham prima, aham prima. And you're going to keep going continuously until you get to all the way to the other end, okay? Which is 108. 108 is an auspicious number. It is the number that helps to jumpstart and activate the, um, the power um, of the mantra, okay? These mantras are real. They're not a joke, not a game. You got to get into your zone with them. I suggest you, you do um, in the morning when you wake up and do it at night before you go to sleep, okay? Um, these mala beads, mala beads can cost anywhere from like $12 to $200, $300. These are on the higher end because this is real turquoise, okay? But these are definitely something that you want to keep with you. People usually wear them around their right hand, their right, right wrist, okay and you are not to allow people to touch them um and uh you are not to let them touch the floor okay um these are very um these ver are very um helpful in activating um and helping you to tap into um you know spirit okay um and so meditation is going to be key for you okay tripping over your love lma so, you know, what does this song mean? You know, LMA is talking about like someone's bugging out. You know, there's a little bit of jealousy. There's a little bit of possessiveness. And I'm putting that mildly, okay? Someone feels this for you. It could be someone currently. It could be someone from the past, okay? But there is this um, this this energy of possessing, wanting to possess and being jealous, okay? Someone with a fair complexion figures prominently in this love story. This could be you, this could be your special person, or this can be a karmic that's involved um, as well, all right? But unexpected news is coming. So what does this mean? You could get um, news of a pregnancy. Someone could find out that they're pregnant. You could get news of someone passing, okay? Um, you can get news of sudden wealth, okay, and inheritance, which is usually through someone crossing over into the ancestor realm. But what Spirit is saying, you're going to receive news. Return of the Mac still in player mode, Mark Morrison, okay? So someone is still play a player, all right? As much as they, you know, want to be with you, as much as they're feeling emotions for you, they still have this player energy that they have not gotten out of their system yet. And this, in fact, can be causing delays in the union, okay? This could be kind of stunting progress. And finally, several days. So several days, you know, I'm doing this reading on, what's today? Tuesday. So by next Tuesday, okay, um, uh, you're going to see Tuesday after the 15th, May 15th, but um, in several days, um, if you're catching this reading later on, all right, there is something significant going to happen. It could be that um, this person who was Mac Daddy, who was playing the field, who may have ghosted you, you may have had a breakup with, this person could be resurfacing back into your life, okay? That's a possibility. The other thing is, is that in the next several days, if it's not this p person resurfacing back into your life, if it's not this Knight of Wands, this player um, or playette that's coming back into your life, um, it could be that the unexpected news is going to be coming in, okay? And this unexpected news could be rather shocking, all right? All right, so let's take it a step further. Okay. Mm, okay. Y'all gotta watch your back. You gotta watch your back, okay? There's a snake around you. Someone that is, um, you know, gonna lead massive betrayal against you, okay? If they haven't done so already. So just be mindful of that energy.
Okay, we have another time checkpoint. Double confirmation here. So guys, I'm going to tell you something is going to go down in the next several days. Okay, so please keep your eyes open. All right. Summertime is going to be on and popping. It's going to be on and popping for you. That's Leo season. Okay. You got to definitely watch how you're spending your money. Okay. Spending your money, it feels good to spend money, <laughs> but you got to watch where that money is going. And we got a couple of double confirmations that have come up here. So please see about your health. Hold on just a second. Okay, we got the Page of Cups up. So those of you guys who watch traditional tarot know what the Page of Cups is. Um, guys, there's also a message during the pre-shuffle when I was preparing the cards for your reading. You know, there was a warning about um, the dating sites, okay? So those of you who are dating on, say, Tinder, Hinge, um, Plenty of Fish, whatever, um, Bumble, you guys got to be very careful of dating on these sites, all right? Um, you know, there could be some crazy folks on there, people trying to extort money, people blackmailing you, so be very careful. All right, so we're gonna leave it at that for this deck. And let's see what spirit has to say. So money card to the bank. Someone could be spending a lot of money. Money could be coming in. Okay, money could be flowing. But, you know, spirit is saying just be mindful of, of how much money you're spending. Okay, and keep track. Like I said, you know, a lot of people don't walk with cash in their wallet anymore. You know, you got your debit card. You got your plastic. And your swipe, swipe, swipe doing electronic um, transactions and your balance may not necessarily be popping up every time. So spirit is saying, watch your flow of your money, okay? Black magic has been worked, all right? So yes, uh, you know, for some of you if, you, if you see that your hair, because spirit is showing me, some of you, if your hair is falling, um, if you're, you know, uh, having issues with money or problems with work or um, something with employment, you know, issues on the job, um, uh, arguing with a, you know, a spouse or someone who you're in a relationship with, kids are bouncing off the wall, you can't sleep, there's nightmares, spirits all around you. Okay, this is uh, as evidence that there is black magic, brujeria, witchcraft, spell work being done um, to try and impact your existence. Okay, and spirit is saying there's a snake in the grass. So it could be that this person who, you know, is, um, I'm, I'm not hearing double face, I'm hearing triple face, okay? So these people know how to, you know, um, change and shape shift and, um, you know, I'm, I'm hearing um, like they're one way with one person and then they're one way with another person, okay? Um, so you got to watch whoever this person is, but there's a snake in the grass. All right. Special person wants a long-term commitment with you. All right. So there is someone who, you know, definitely wants to take it further with you. Okay. But there are obstacles in the way. 
Okay, and so you, as a part of your meditation and your prayer, you're going to be praying to remove those obstacles in love. You're going to be praying to remove that black magic, that brujeria, witchcraft that has been sent. I'm suggesting you do some spiritual baths. You can do um, uh, you can do Frompe Saragüe. You can um, also do Abre Camino, which is open roads bath, and I definitely do the white bath, okay? And this is not just a one-time thing. You can do it, you know, when you feel blocked. You can do it when you need to feel um, spiritually lifted, okay? These are not one-time things, all right? I'm not trying to, like, make money off of you guys. I want you to go and explore this. I'm trying to empower you guys because you each, each and every one of you have it within you to um, to manifest, okay? And to add your ache, your ability to manifest and create um, and remove blockages from your life, all right? So definitely see about those baths. I love you, but I love someone else more, okay? And so... <sighs> You know, someone could be half-stepping um, only because, you know, there's someone else involved in the picture. And, you know, it's just so cl cliche. Like, you know, and I, I, I watch readings. I watch tarot readings. Um, and it just aggravates me. The whole term, the third party, the side thing, the karmic, like, um, ugh, it's, it's, it's very upsetting. Um as a watcher and I know that the tarot readers this is the only way to describe what's going on in people's love lives okay with the karmics and the third party situations and all of this and unfortunately there's a lot of competition okay so someone loves you but they love someone more this could be you feeling this way about someone okay you know you could love someone, but then there's someone else in the picture where the love um, and the attraction is much stronger, okay? So let's see. Don't don't run with it yet and don't start getting upset. Let's see what happens, all right? So several days, again, you got this confirmation. You got it in both decks, double confirmation. So guys, mark that in your calendar. Next several days. Today is Tuesday. By next Tuesday... The week of May, uh, the week after the 15th of May, okay, is going to be on and popping, okay? Something's going to go down, all right? Summer, like I said, summer is going to be also hot, okay? It's going to be full of, of I don't know if I want to say drama, but it's going to be intense, okay? So just get ready. Um, money is like water through a basket, yep. You know, I know when <laughs> the weather is nice, people are popping back out, people are popping out, they want to go hang out, go to the cafes, the festivals, the lounges and all that. When people feel good, they like to spend money. But you guys got to keep track of what's going on with your money because spirit is saying that the money could be a little funny, okay? Um, someone is avoiding the other. All right, so they could be avoiding the other person because maybe these feelings are so strong and they don't know how to deal with them. So maybe they may be trying to cool it down by keeping their distance from you. That's a possibility. Um, the other thing is, is that, you know, if they did something that was really messed up, they don't want to own up to it. They know it was really jacked up. They may not be wanting to confront you, okay? But self-care is needed right now. Visit a doctor again or a therapist. Okay, so guys, this is another double confirmation. Y'all got to see about your health. All right. Um, you know, now it's time to be getting into your health and taking care of yourself. Beware of accidents. Okay, so yet again, okay, we know that some kind of black magic, brujeria was worked. You know, I hate this card. I hate it. I hate when it comes up in a reading, but nevertheless, it is there, okay? So it, it popped out, all right? And I'm saying that, and the candle is jumping all over the place, all right? So y'all got to be careful of accidents. You got to be careful of trying to be, um, you know, ultra adventurous 
and risk taking and do like doing papa wheelies on bicycles and motorcycles and all kinds of stuff at this time it is not a good look <laughs> all right so spirit is saying just be very careful uh, a message of love is coming and this is what I said the page of cups so if someone's gonna be texting you someone's gonna be DMing you someone's gonna be calling you being like hey baby baby hey <laughs> okay or in the words of Spike Lee baby 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 please baby please I don't know if I said it right but yeah I don't know if they're gonna be begging but they're definitely gonna want some of that good stuff all right so get your mind right and go into meditation so you can know how to cope with it okay because if the time is right that person can slip in and it can be on and popping all right and the question is are you ready for that all right spiritual illumination needs to happen meditation and spiritual baths like i said y'all gotta you gotta start cultivating this energy around you prayer and meditation those mantras you know you do have this um whole black magic card so i'm definitely suggesting suggesting you do the mantras for protection okay um the two main mantras that i like that are really easy to pronounce for you is the durga mantra mantra okay and it goes like this om dum durga ye namaha Om Doom Durga Ye Namaha. Om Doom Durga Ye Namaha. Okay? If you can listen to songs on the radio and memorize them after one <laughs> listen of it, y'all can certainly memorize the mantras, okay? And repeat the mantras 108 times in the morning, 108 times at night. Okay? It's about 8 to 10 minutes. Get your, your, your mala beads. You can go on Amazon.com. Etsy has beautiful ones. And copy some beads. And let's get it on and popping, okay? Um, okay, and you definitely need to do those spiritual baths. The white bath is going to be really important. I suggest you do the white bath once a week, okay? Um, you can also try it make the bath and then spread it out over eight days take it each day all right and the white bath goes over your head the um the herbal baths they go from your neck down okay um there's some relationship in the love story that's based on the superficial so you know it, it don't mean much okay so it's based on who has what who's driving around in what car who lives where how many credit cards they got okay it's superficial ain't no love Ain't no love, okay? It's just for status. All right. Um, there's a gypsy spirit guide that wants attention, okay? And so, what does this mean? The gypsy spirit guide is is in actuality, it's a, a diviner. There's a diviner either in your bloodline, your ancestral line, or a spirit guide that has an affinity to you that's not necessarily related by blood. But there is um, an energy that's with you that is wanting attention. They want to help you nurture your ability to divine, okay? So what I'm suggesting you do is you um, go to um, Etsy.com or you go to Amazon.com and get you some Oracle cards, okay? Get some Oracle cards that you like, that you can identify with. Don't just you know, um, just randomly pick up an Oracle deck, okay? I want them to be cards that you like, you know, for the colors, for the pictures, for the messages, okay? Look at some of the sample cards that they allow you to look at on the website, okay? And if not, you can Google the deck to see if they show the cards, to see if it's something that you want, okay? You're gonna take those Oracle cards once you get them, you should have like a red candle lit in a small glass of water, clear glass of water, cool water. Okay, and you're gonna sit with your oracle cards, okay? And you're just gonna start shuffling them in your hand, okay? And all of a sudden, you're gonna see the card pop out. This is spirit communicating with you. This is the diviner spirit communicating with you as to what messages they have for you, okay? So let's see, that happened rather quickly, okay? Um, indigo and crystal children, my head is tingling. Um, Archangel Metatron. So, you know, spirit is saying, 
that you know they're um that either you are a indigo child you know you were born with spiritual abilities that maybe your parents were helping you to cultivate or maybe not okay or that you have children that also have spiritual abilities okay archangel metatron you have a bond with children in particular you can help children who are sensitive okay um this card came reverse okay and so you know what that's saying to me is that you know you may not be following your calling okay and if you are following your calling you may not be doing enough you may have to do more okay but this is how the spirit the gypsy spirit the diviner spirit is going to communicate with you okay um through the cards popping out um i'm with you just for the money and what you can do for me yeah so whether you are with someone or whether your special person is with someone because more than likely you guys are not in union okay if you are in union with your special person and all is good you should not be watching this <laughs> okay um if you are not in union you're trying to get in the union okay this is definitely the channel for you and the the reading for you okay but someone is 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 being used for the comfort and stability that they can offer okay or they're getting from someone ancestors spirit guides want acknowledgement yep so guys <laughs> In my tradition, the ancestors are <laughs> critical to our success in this world, in this earthly plane. Now, not only in my tradition, but in traditions around the world, the ancestors are critical to the point where there are ancestors that are even buried in the houses of the family. This is how close the family wants the dead to be to them because the ancestors bring um, blessings, okay? And they help us to move to the next level. So spirit is saying is that ain't nothing gonna go well for you. Things are not gonna stick and be consistently going smoothly for you if you don't acknowledge your ancestors, okay? What does that mean? A light, a candle, a glass of water, and prayers, okay? Um, that's how you acknowledge your ancestors. You can get them gorgeous flowers, okay? Put down gorgeous flowers for them, all right? You can put down bottles of liquor, the main types of liquor, gin, <laughs> rum, and some dark liquor, okay? You can put down a can of beer for them. If grandpa smoked that cigar, put that cigar down for him. If grandma smoked Newports, put those Newports down for them. When you're in the morning, before you drink your cup of coffee, Take a, a chipped cup or um, a chipped cup and pour some black coffee in there, you know, dedicated to your ancestors. Say light, peace, and progress to the ancestors, to my ancestors. You can call out their names, the first and last name if you want. Say, I dedicate this coffee to you. Blow your breath in it. Set it down and knock three times, okay? You can do offerings of fruit, cakes, cookies, you know, um, before you eat. You can put a little bit of the food on a chipped or cracked plate, present it to your ancestors, let it sit for an hour, and then you can pick it back up, okay? Um, these are all ways to acknowledge your ancestors. I'm telling you that, you know, before you put your foot out that door, especially because people have been working brujería and witchcraft on you, okay? You definitely need to sit down at your ancestor shrine and say prayers. You know, tell the ancestors what you're doing, you know, what you're going to be doing for the day. Ask them to help you to drive safely, to take care of your business, to do what you got to do. Boom, boom, boom. And thank them. Okay. And knock three times. Okay. That's how you start your ancestor shrine. Okay. In my tradition, the ancestor shrine is a bit more elaborate. Okay. But until you are initiated or whatever, you start with the bare minimum and the ancestors will love you for it okay so let's take it to the next level mm -hmm. wow we got double confirmations here
it was like a ghosting. Someone left prematurely, you know. Um, as much as I hate to talk about the past in these readings, I really hate <laughs> I hate it. When I click on a tarot card reading, I want to know what's happening now and into the future. I don't want to hear about no damn past, okay? But sometimes the past pops up. Okay, we do have a time checkpoint. I feel like a card flips. if um, Spirit's going to give you the signs. This is the deck that has the signs. You know I don't like calling out signs, okay? It's so annoying. But if Spirit wants you to know the signs, then they'll do a pop out. Leave it at that. Let's see if there's any more that popped out. All right. So let's see what's going on. All right. So guys, this is um, a double confirmation. The first card that came out is there is spell work, candle magic, black magic being used to interfere with the relationship. Okay. Um, this was in the first deck and then the, this last deck. Okay. So guys, this is a confirmation. My head is tingling. Someone's doing work, okay? Um, if you're trying to get into a union with someone and there's stuff that's blocking it or you guys can't get started or you're not feeling the connection, you know, things are just not right, you know, the person is ghosting you, whatever, this is evidence of spell work, all right? And so y'all gotta pray to reverse this, all right? Um, you definitely have to do spiritual baths. And um, the, the, the other protection mantra that works miracles is Om Ayudaye Namaha. Om Ayudaye Namaha. Om Ayudaye Namaha. 108 times, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's amazing, okay? There's a sex addict or someone with a sexual addiction. Okay, so there's someone who likes to watch a lot of porn. They like to be with prostitutes. You know, um, they have a fetish. Um, you know, they may like one night stands. They may be nymphomaniacs, you know, um, having sex with people on this, you know, off the street, that kind of thing. You know, they may get a thrill from that, okay? You know, there may be people who, you know, like to take it a step further. They like that whole S&M, you know, um, whips and chains and all that. That's a possibility. This person could also like to, you know, suck toes and, you know, eat the groceries. Okay. And not to say that it is abnormal, but that may not, that may not be something that everyone does. But spirit is saying that there is a sex addict. Okay. And this sex addiction this je ne sais quoi is possibly interfering with the flow of things, okay? Um, I can't love you because I don't love myself. So maybe it's this person who's a sex addict is the person who's struggling with um, coming into union with you um, or acknowledging and, and owning up to their love for you, okay? And, and I'm feeling like we're talking about the same person. Childhood trauma affects how this person is in a relationship, okay? So, you know, with something in their past, 
you know, um, you know, failure to, I don't know if I want to say failure to thrive, but a failure to, um, um, connect with the mothering energy, uh, was a possibility. Okay. They may have been passed around. Um, they may have been raised by grandparents. You know, the mother have, may have been absent. Okay. Um, and she could have been absent, not just physically, but emotionally. Okay. And maybe the same person is taking drugs, drugs to cope. Okay. So they could be drinking a lot. They could be smoking a lot of weed, popping a lot of pills, you know, um, doing things to, to deaden, um, emotions. Okay. That they're, that they're having problems coping with. All right. But, so, and someone walked away too soon. So it is this person. So this person who has taken drugs to cope, they walked away too soon. And maybe it was, you know, as a result of just being fearful of, uh, you know, the emotions that were being felt, okay, and are being expressed. Someone is sneaking off to have sex and secret rendezvous with a lover, okay? So maybe they walked away too soon because, you know, they, they were, you know, still playing the field. So maybe they were with you, but they always kept one foot out the door, okay? And the moment that emotions started ramping up um, between you and this person, this is when this person started sabotaging the situation and started stepping out, okay? And, you know, hooking up with, you know, maybe past flames or exes on, uh, you know, Instagram and you know, hopping on dating sites and, you know, hooking up at um, lounges and all kinds of stuff, okay? But someone was off, sneaking off to have sex, okay? But an inheritance is coming. And remember I told you that there's gonna be um, some news coming in. So there may be someone crossing over, okay? Because typically this is how people get inheritances. The other thing is, is that, you know, if you're playing the lottery, you could come into money. Someone could bless you with money. Either way, money is going to be coming or property. Fame comes and you get your big break. Yep. Okay. So what does this mean? You could become famous. You know, you could save someone's life. You could, you know, um, be a vlogger. Uh, and all of a sudden your vlog gets recognition you know, your uh, Instagram or YouTube post can go viral, okay? Um, you could save someone's life, okay? You could be um, an actor, a writer, a singer, a model, um, a creative type, and you can finally get your big break, okay? And so this is how possibly fame could come to you. Um, the other way, the other thing is, is that you could be famous watching this. And I do have celebrity clientele. So spirit is acknowledging you um, um, in your own right if you do have some fame and you're watching this, okay? But nevertheless, fame is around you. That star energy is around you, okay? December, January, February, winter time, okay? So this coming winter, something significant is going to happen. You could either be pregnant, you could give birth, you could possibly get your big break, okay? Um, maybe something happened this past winter, but I'm feeling like it's this upcoming winter where something significant is gonna happen, okay? There is a chakra blockage, okay? Many of you, there is a chakra blockage. Your kundalini cannot rise up through the seven chakras. Yes, there are more chakras, I know that. But we're talking about the main seven, okay? Your, your kundalini cannot rise because there's something blocking one of your chakras, okay? The, the ultimate goal is to get your kundalini to rise so that you can have the ultimate third eye awakening and illumination, okay? And complete your ascension. However, there is a blockage. So I'm going to include... Um, a really simple um, chakra exercise to open up your chakras. Um, and basically it's you um, sounding beige sounds, okay? Each chakra has a sound, okay? That opens it up, that pops it open, that allows the chi to flow, okay? And so, it, for example, it'll go like this. Lam, ram, 
Ham. Yum. Om. Okay, with the M, you definitely want to let the M vibrate in your mouth. And you definitely want to extend out these sounds, okay? So you can open up these chakras so you can, you know, have the ultimate experience, all right? Um, someone is short in this love story, okay? They're your hider or shorter. Uh, it's relative. And something significant is going to happen in June, July, August, okay? All right, so just keep your eyes open for that. Let's see um, what other messages. Hmm, okay. We have another double confirmation. And we have the Six of Cups energy. There's way too many cards here. These cards stick. These things are being revealed now. Okay. This step gets into a little more detail um, about what's going on. Some of these messages can be a little harsh, but it pretty much gets to the nitty gritty. That's way too many cards. We'll take this. lover comes back on the scene and they rush back to you so get ready <laughs> six of cups energy someone's going to be coming back from the past all right the question is how are you going to deal with it okay and is this person going to be good for you all right accidents and injuries yes okay this is the second accident card so spirit is warning you take heed okay um, weather affects your mood. So this is talking about not just weather, but like the seasons, the time of year. So, you know, kind of check that. If you feel like you're going into a slump, you don't want to get out of bed, you're not motivated, you know, take those spiritual baths to reinvigorate you, to get you jump started, start those ma mantras. There is one mantra um, that is amazing, okay? This mantra is to uh, Ganesha. Um, we call Ganapataye. Um, and so the, the mantra helps to change and get rid of negative feelings. And it, you know, gives you that spark to get going. Okay. And it goes like this. Om Uchista Ganapataye Namaha. Om Uchista Ganapataye Namaha. Om Uchista Ganapataye Namaha. Okay, 108 times in the morning, 108 times at night. I got someone pregnant and that's why I left. Yep, so there was a ghosting, someone left, they picked a fight, you know, they left suddenly. It's because of this person who they were having rendezvous with, someone popped up pregnant. Now, as to whether that was their child or someone else's child, that's up in the air, that's debatable, all right? But a toxic ex tries to block the connection, okay? So this is the person that could be throwing this brujeria and this witchcraft, okay? 
whatever they're doing. They're conjuring spells via YouTube. They're going on and getting recipes, whatever it is, they're playing with fire, <laughs> okay? Because people can open Pandora's box, but they don't know how to close it, okay? So um, be very careful. Um, there is a new love interest on the scene. So this new love is coming in, but like I said, there may be challenges getting it started um, only because um, of this witchcraft, okay? That can be creating delays. I haven't been able to find anyone that compares to you. You're the best, okay? So, you know, this person that was off thinking that there were greener pastures, that, you know, the grass was greener on the other side, they thought that they were trying, they found a duplicate <laughs> of you. No, okay? You cannot be um, duplicated, <laughs> all right? There's only one you, and this person is now realizing this, all right? Money comes through the death of someone. Money comes to you through the death of someone. I told you, someone's gonna be crossing over into the ancestor realm if they haven't done so already, all right? So guys, what does this mean? These energies that have come up, these messages, could have happened in the recent past, they could be happening now, or they could be happening in the near future. And they can last for several days, several weeks, or several months. So that's just to put it in perspective here. I'm an attention whore and need to be validated by others. Yeah. So, you know, you know, with these type of people, and no judgment, but these type of people who are attention whores, okay, it is very hard for them to be loyal and faithful, okay? It's just like a dog. Whoever has the bone, whoever has the food is the it person, okay? Same thing with this person. Whoever's, you know, throwing them some bones, telling them they look good and, you know, they got it going on, this, this, and that, this person's gonna be running to that person, okay? They run to the next big thing in their mind they think that's the next big thing okay and so you got to be careful with dealing with these types of people because of the childhood trauma and the failure to attach to the mothering energy when they were younger you know they get high off of being validated off of others okay and you are simply not enough for them the feelings and emotions are mutual, okay? So there is a person in the love story where you were feeling the same way and how this person is feeling, it's the same way. So if you were thinking, do they feel the same way about me? Spirit is saying, yes, they do, okay? But there's mind games and manipulation, okay? Y'all gotta get past the mind games and manipulation. You have been cursed and needed spiritual cleaning and reading, yep. So this is the third card that's talking about being cursed, spell work, you know, guys, don't take this, what I'm gonna say is, <laughs> so they have me say on the YouTube channel, this is purely for entertainment purposes only, okay? For those people who walk, who walk and work in the spiritual realm, you know what I'm saying, all right? The readings that I have given, private readings, I've had people call me up, email me, flipping out. They didn't initially believe that the things were going to happen and the things did happen to them. Spirit tells you these things so that you can prepare so that you won't be hit as hard as you could be if you did not know these things, okay? And my prayers go out to um, my clients who have gone through that, okay? I'm definitely praying for you and you know who you are, all right? Um, I'm addicted to you and everything about you, okay? So this person is addicted, okay? They may not show it, but they could be checking up, looking at your pictures, you know, seeing who's posting on your page, whatever, okay? And I never knew love like this before, yeah. This addiction is indicative of the love. Like they're they're having a realization of how much they love you, okay? Or how much you love them. Whoever is coming to this epiphany. Okay. 
Okay. Hold on just a second. Mm. Hmm. Okay, these cards sometimes don't talk like this, but they're talking for you. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. All right, so let's get into it. This reading is going much longer, but since I haven't read you guys in a while, Okay, there is a lover that is returning, okay? And this lover is returning along with the thief card, okay? This could be the lover that basically stole your heart, that trampled over it, that could have been cheating, um, the one that was cheating, okay? You know, this person could be trying to slip back into your life. This is what spirit is telling me. You have the enemy, but it came reverse, okay? So, you know, this enemy card is telling me that, you know, um, you know, the enemy and them doing work, because um, you also have the journey card that came reverse. So, you know, this is letting me know that the work of the enemy is gonna be soon dissipating. Like the work that they've done has weakened, okay? So it's not as potent as it initially was, okay? And you have to finish it. Like, you know how they do in the video games, like um, those fighting games, finish them, like the finisher, okay? And so you have to finish off these spiritual energies, this spiritual blackmail manipulation by saying these mantras for protection and shut, shut it down, okay? To finish it off. Okay, because spirit is saying that these and the energies are weakening. All right, there's conversation, so there's gossip. You know, people are bochinchando, they're gossiping, and they're talking about something. Okay, there is a message coming, and the messenger came reverse. So th there's not going to be good news. Okay, it's going to be shocking news. Um. And you know, a lot of people could be talking about it, okay? So Spirit is letting me know that there's gonna be news coming um, for the Leos, all right? You got two cards reverse, and you got constancy and you got fortune, okay? So this is letting me know that, you know, you know, the fortune, the money, um, the money could be coming through the passing of a woman, that's possible. Um, also that, you know, your money could be a little funny right now and you have to watch spending your money, okay? Um, you got to tighten up and kind of break some habits here on money. You know, you do get, you have the friend card, but it came reverse. So, you know, and this friend card has white flowers. White flowers to me, you know, um, oftentimes indicate um, someone passing over, someone crossing, uh, passing away. Okay, so there could be someone that you know, um, a friend, a friend of the family, um, someone that's close to you that could be crossing over if they haven't crossed over already. If you have someone that crossed over, you know, it is a female energy and this female energy, and I'm saying this, my head is tingling. She is presenting herself here tonight and she's letting you know that she is here um, and um, she wants you to know that she is okay and that she is watching over you, okay? And th that message is for a, s a small set of people who are watching and you know who you are, okay? You know, you do have the cheerfulness card, okay? And you have a man and two women. So there is there is a masculine energy that is enjoying, enjoying the company of two women. Okay, this is for the time being, all right? So, you know, if if you are wondering why someone is not being consistent with you, um, you know, they may call you some of the time, but not all of the time, or they see you once a week or every two weeks or whatever, 
spirit is saying it could be because they are enjoying the company of someone else as well okay um, and then you have consolation okay which came to the side so there is someone you know that is going through it okay it could be you know that this person that is enjoying the company of two people will be experiencing karma very soon if they're not already experiencing it okay um, and they're paying for it You have a message again, so, ooh, okay. So you have a message card again, hold on a minute. Sorry. You have the message card. You have the concern card, which is upside down. You have the wealthy man. And then the family room. Okay, so look, the concern is, uh, you know, this whole thing about doing things in threes, you know, threes a crowd, um, third party situations, it's not, it's not going to work. Okay, um, this thing is going to be ending soon. And, and this is when you're going to find out, you know, where you stand with this person. Okay. Um, there's also a wealthy man and the wealthy man is connected to the family room. So this wealthy man, this is someone who has money, a masculine who has money, where the living room is the place where things go down. <laughs> okay. The living room is where it all happens. Okay. This could be sex in the living room like you know being intimate in the living room the living room piece is really big for this person who has money and stability okay um or this masculine energy the message thing came to the side so you know like i said you know the news that could be coming may not be good news okay let's pull from traditional tarot Okay, so, you know, traditional tarot, yes, okay, so you got the magician card, so spirit is confirming that someone is doing some black magic, okay, and they're trying really hard, they're not happy, um, and, you know, they're using um, um, visualization to try and make their magic more potent, okay, um, and they're very determined, okay? They're very determined. They're very, they have a lot of anger and frustration, and this is what's fueling them and, um, and amidst jealousy um, and envy, okay? You do have the Emperor card, um, which talks about the ego, someone with, you know, a very big ego, and you have um, this image over them. So this, you know, lets me know that there is a um, dark influence around this person. This person is being influenced by a dark energy. Um, this person could also be being manipulated by someone. So they could be doing witchcraft on you, but also manipulating your special person as well. Okay. And then you have the two of coins, which talks about juggling. All right. And so this is to the side. So someone is juggling at least two situations but it's not going to be fruitful okay it's not going to work work out okay your cards are flying all over the place hold on just a second All right. 
All right. So you have the five of cups crying over spilled milk. So, you know, this person is definitely, you know, lamenting and upset about what had happened. The six of wands, they did not have victory. Okay. They thought they were going to have victory, but they didn't. All right. And the seven of wands talks about like, you know, being defensive. And so those people who this person thought had their back are now turning against him. Okay. And the Hierophant is showing up. This is the God force energy and saying like this, you know, the, the party time, all of this abuse and manipulation is over. Okay. So spirit is stepping in. The divine is stepping in. All right. Outdoors, Archangel Jaffael, go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to relieve stress, gain new creative ideas. Outdoors is going to be key for you, connecting with nature um, and Mother Earth, doing your prayers and your mantras. Guys, if you like this, please email me um, if you'd like a private reading. Uh, you can email me at ayabaswind, W-Y-N-D-999 at gmail.com. Um, if you like what I'm doing, please like the video. Definitely share and certainly subscribe. Um, you are so welcome into Ayaba's Wind family. And again, I apologize for my long absence. However, there were many, many people um, that needed my help. And so I was tapped into them. So I am back. I'll see you next month for June 2021. Love Tarot Pop-Up. Ciao.